Hi there, today I want to talk about one of the coolest features of Next3 that saves you a lot of time, auto imports. But I also want to talk about what's under the hood and are we able to make it work seamlessly for you. Auto imports is the ability for Next to provide you with utilities and components without requiring you to import them explicitly. This is great because it saves you a lot of time and you don't need to worry about where is what. I'm Lucia Berrer, I'm a developer experience engineer at Prismic and a Next Core team member. All right, let's dive into auto imports. Here I have a pretty bare bone Next project, just already configured with Prismic, but that's it. And there are different kinds of auto imports. The first one are auto imports provided by Next. And the most famous one is the define Next config helper that is auto imported for you by Next, but you still get all the types and everything you need from it. So that's an auto import. Other auto imports are, for example, if I go inside a component, there's like the use SEO meta composable that is auto imported for you by Next. And you get all the types here, you can see. So if I want to add a title to my page, I can go here and it's already typed for me and I can use it and it's auto imported for me. Of course, auto imports are also about components and Next provides you with components that are auto imported. Famously, the Next link component is, auto is available for you everywhere and you can use it to render your links with Next. So that's for auto imports provided by Next, but you can auto import your own content too. So for example, if I were to create a component, go here like components inside my components directory and I will create like a simple header.view component. So inside it, I will just add like a template, rendering like a header, and inside it, I will just add a slot to render the slot content of the header. So I can save that, and without importing it, I can get back to my component here, and if I start typing like simple, you can see it's providing me already with simple header, and I can use it here and my, my content inside it. This works also for your composables. So if you want to create composables, you can create them inside the composables directory. Now we'll create a quick one right now, just called like use now.ts, which will just return the current timestamp. I go, I can go export const uh, use now equal a quick function that returns date.now. And without much, I can just go back to my component, go to its script section, and I can type use now, and you can see it's suggesting it to me. We can see it returning a number, which is what the timestamp is and we can use it within your project everywhere already. Finally, the third kind of auto imports are auto imports provided by modules. So next modules are a way to extend your next application and modules can provide as many auto imports as they want. Here I already have the Prismic module configured and we provide you with auto imports. You can see here we're already using one actually, it's a get slice component props which is just a utility function that is auto imported for you and provided by the Prismic module. And likewise, module can provide you with components. So you can have like a Prismic rich text, for example, uh, component, and you can provide it with a film and like one well, can go next lines dot primary dot body in our case. But this component is auto imported for you and you're good to go with it. So that's interesting. We have auto imports for everything for things provided by Next, for things provided by Module, and for things from your own project. But how is all of that working under the hood? How is Next able to do all of that for you? It's able to do all of that thanks to this config in your Next configure in your TypeScript configuration. It's extending a TypeScript con configuration from the .next directory that is then created and managed by Next. So if we go peek inside it here, you can see this TS config has a lot more configuration inside it. But what's great here is that it's all managed by Next, so you don't have to worry about it. It's all done automatically according to your project configuration. And if we pick again inside the .next folder, we can see there's like a lot more things here. But interestingly, there's the imports and components type definition file. If you go inside the components type definition file, we can see here we have our simple header component. It's the one we created on our project, and that is referenced by Next, so we it knows it's here, it's providing you all the types about it. And well, that's how it's able to tell you that it's available on the auto imports. And then we have a bunch of other components, which are all the components provided by Next, the components provided by Prismic module, and all the other modules you have installed on your project. Similarly, for composables, we have them inside the imports directory. And here you can see we have the 
um, use now here, right here, that it, it's a composable we created within our project. And we have, of course, like a bunch of other composables, one provided by modules, one provided the ones provided by Vue, by Next, and everything. And that's all Next is referencing everything that's available for you to develop within your components and your project. OK, so that's all for Auto Imports for today. That was a quick peek at them and how they are working under the hood. If you enjoy that kind of content, please feel free to subscribe and let us know in the comments what kind of other features you'd like us to talk about. That's all for me for today. Cheers.